Yo, what's good? It's your boy B from Wet Whips Only. I'm back again with another video. And as you can see in the background, and as you can tell by the title, man, I done purchased another car, man. But this one is a little different. Gonna bring back a, a, a old classic. So like I said, by the title, here we are. I took delivery of a 1994 Acura Legend four-door GS, man. So let's go ahead and get into the video, man. Let me show y'all what I got, man. Come check, come check it out. I'm actually juicing. Let, let, let me show y'all. That old boy Aura was a weapon and an Acura Legend. So look, 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 look. When I tell y'all I've been wanting one of these for the longest, I've been wanting one of these for the longest, man. 1994 Acura Legend four door GS. And as you can see, it's definitely not in the best condition. Well, at least not cosmetically. So hold on the motorcycle going past so cos uh not cosmetically mechanically the car is sound cosmetically not so much but let me let me let me show y'all around because here's where this car actually has a I, I saved a lot of money with this car first of all i have all the factory leather seats which are dirty you know we're gonna get those cleaned up get the floor mats carpet shampoo but it still comes with the original mats all of these pieces are actually functional everything is functional the wood grain is still in place as you can see everything in here is in place it has one crack in the dash which i might replace the dash or i might just get a cover i'm mad that it's that one crack because the rest of it is so pristine i did get a stereo put in um let me see here show y'all the back seat back seat is pristine like this looked like it was almost never sat in. Like I said, it's also a little bit dirty. It's a 30 year old car, but the carpets and everything back here are pretty clean. All of the panels are pretty much intact. Um, roof liners, good to go. Sunroof does work. So the car is clean, man. Let me go ahead and show you all the rest of the doors. You see, everything is on point, man. Interior is completely on point. So we are good to go with that. Let me show you all this side too. So yeah, as you can see, the interior is on point. That driver's side seat is not as good, man. Driver's side seat, not that good. So we're definitely gonna uh, look at that, but this one good too. So basically once we get, we're gonna take these two front seats here, get these reupholstered. And then from that point, uh, like I said, shampoo, clean out the rest of the, uh, clean up the rest of the carpet, clean up the back seats. Everything from that point should be good to go. Uh, the body of the car is actually not bad the body itself is pretty solid so as you can see we don't really have no no dents you know what i'm saying there's one dent on the car and that's actually right here in the back but other than that taking a solid look at the car when i went to look at it the body is straight it looks like they attempted to start maybe sanding it and didn't finish i mean it feels smooth so it looks like whoever uh, the dude that had it i guess he was going to start he was gonna get started now this side right here this is this is the teaser because this side is pretty much solid when I went to look at the car this side was actually in the shade so you can see where the Sun didn't really beat this side up like that but like I was saying no dents a couple little dings which is expected we do got a little bit of surface rust here I actually already got a quote to get the car painted today actually so get the body work done get the paint back right um, by one of my boys actually he gonna go ahead and do it we're gonna bring it back the original color but uh yeah man I also ordered the wheels too I so I, I kind of been slacking I kind of been slacking but yeah look at that front end came with those aftermarket fog lights which are cool I'm gonna keep them to be honest with you and the grill is aftermarket well it has the mesh insert in it which I actually kind of like so we're gonna clean that up too and keep that also has the uh, the clear corner signals that came with it. I do have the factory ones as well. So that's another good thing. But like I said, man, overall the car itself is actually solid. And like I said, I got the GS, man. I got the best one you can get. It's a real GS model. This ain't no LS with GS wheels, none of that shit. When I registered the car, 
put that VIN number in, that's a real GS right there in the flesh. Now with this, I don't know why they took the legend off of here and put it there. I don't know why. But you can see them as separate letters where they tried to put it here. So if anybody knows Acura Legends, the 91 and 93, the Acura emblem was right here in the middle. This was still in place and then Legend sat right here. Now my car is a 94. On the 94.95, Acura Legend is right up here at the top. Legend goes across the bottom like that. And then this is still the same right here. So definitely gonna get new emblems, put those back in place, get that back original. Um, but yeah, and the car passed smog today too. So that's another good thing. Let me go ahead and turn it on for y'all too. Let me let me show y'all. the keys at, man? Where I put the key? Here we go. Oh, and Pete, car came with the original remote. Car came with the original remote. These are so hard to get. It's a little taped up at the moment. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of raggedy, but definitely a little something I'm gonna keep. I also, for my big Acura enthusiast, also got the original owner's manual with the car good condition and all so that's something else that i'm happy i have for it but let's go ahead and start this thing up man if y'all hear the weird noise in the background because the antenna's broke so the motor goes but it doesn't actually do nothing with the antenna 191,000 miles man as you can see it starts up perfect and there's that noise from the antenna if y'all can hear it but yeah it starts up perfect man it's quiet all of the little gauges work clock works all of these clusters work everything works normal um no lights on the dash thank god i mean let's open up this hood too man let me go ahead and show y'all up under this hood real quick the car is on so it does have the original type 2 engine in it um i've heard mixed reviews about these engines to be completely honest uh it's some people that say they last some people say they go out what i've heard because I've, I've met a few og acura owners uh over the last year you know i've been trying to get in contact with folks find some connections just trying to find me a good legend in the first place but what uh, what a couple of them said is that honestly if you really take care of the car and take care of the engine it'll last you there's a dude named tyson out in arizona has a legend two-door type two i believe but it's the original engine currently like 577,000 miles or something crazy like that original engine original transmission the whole nine so from the signs of it i took this car over to acura oakland i took it to acura oakland uh and just got the car back yesterday and everything checked out and what my advisor was saying is that the mechanic said it looks like the car was pretty well taken care of even with the sign of some $900 Michelin, well, I don't know about 900, but some very expensive Michelin tires just put on here by the owner before I got rid of it. It was some old Asian guy. I don't know. He was something, some other race out in uh, the Silicon Valley that had the car. But uh, it looks like he took pretty good care of it. And you can kind of tell by the way the interior is still pretty clean and how the engine is taken care of. It passed smog with no problems. They got the new good tires on, ain't no cheap tires on there. So you could tell the car was taken care of. But uh, yeah, man, so hopefully that engine lasts. I'm gonna keep up with the routine maintenance and stuff like that. The car is already a dealership, baby, at least for me. Uh, so, you know, hopefully it stays up. It's giving me no problems, man. If y'all familiar with the Bay Area, I done drove this thing from San Jose back to Oakland, Oakland to Dublin, Dublin to Sunnyvale. I, I done been everywhere. I done put a few hundred miles in this car. I done had it for about a week. I had it for a week. I just been kind of shop to shop because I, I bought the car and then I uh, took it to the music shop because it had like no nothing in it. The speakers in there were trash. So I took it to the music shop. Then from that point, got out the music shop. Still got to go back, but I ended up taking it to uh, the mechanic the next day over at Oakland Acura. So they had the car for a couple days, did that. And then I did order wheels for it. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know I did order some BBS replicas for it. Um, I ordered the BBS RS style reps in a 19. They gonna be uh, silver with a, with a polished lip with the chrome rivets on it. 
So those they said should be here in about a week. So uh, once we get those in, I am gonna mount it up. Even though it's not painted yet, having them wheels on there, they go, y'all gonna understand exactly the vision where I'm going with this car. Um, I do got my boy Sipe to come to my house tonight and we're gonna do the mod for the moonroof because you know these cars only have it where the roof can go back and close so we're gonna do the modification where i can tilt my roof because if y'all know me y'all know i'm usually tilted up most of the time so we're gonna get that roof tilted get that roof tilt and then uh i want to get my antenna working so pretty much i'm gonna clean up the interior first i already got it mechanically sound do the interior do the roof get my antenna working get the wheels on in about the next week we're gonna have and then from that point the car is probably gonna be parked you're not gonna see too much content from it after that i am gonna make videos of me doing everything else mounting up the car uh i'll probably make another video with the moon roof and potentially a video for the interior so you'll see more content um you know i do got a wife and a kid and we plan on moving in a new home soon so i might have to put this one on pause for uh once we come into 2021 but we'll see how everything goes, man. I was able to scrape up enough change to even go buy the car and do some uh, do some initial stuff to it. So, you know, here it is, man. 94, act legend. Like Jim Jones said, photo legend with the BBs, nigga, it don't get no better than that. That the hood Bentley, you feel me? The hood Bentley, the hood Lambo, this the one. And y'all know I'm a big Acura dude, so it was only right I came back in the act. You feel me? Because I got rid of all my Acuras for the Lexus, for the ES so I had to come back and give me another act and I say if I'm gonna give me another one I gotta come back classic you feel me gotta come back classic oh and I'm gonna put them emblems back in place I at least gotta do that even if even if it ain't painted yet I at least gotta do that I'm just picky so you know but yeah man here it is I'm I'm mad here it is blood I'm I'm happy with it once I get the wheels on I'm going to try to clean this car up to the T, even with the faded paint, because I'm just like that. You gonna, This is going to be the shiniest faded paint job you've ever seen in your life. I know that much. <laughs> for real. But that's it for this video, man. So go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to my channel, man, so you can see more content at the Legend, as well as all of my other cars, because y'all know I have brought a few cars to this channel over the last couple years. So uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Turn on that post notification bell so you can keep up with all of the uploads. And until next time, man, peace. Two hours later. All right, we got one. We got it closed. No, hold on. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. Yeah. That go crazy. Right. <laughs>